Good morning, everybody, and this is your Forex day trade setups for today. And uh, as usual, starting off with Euro USD, and uh, pretty much uh, one way traffic still. We are heading down. Obviously, I want to be shorting off structure, and uh, unfortunately, the closest bit of structure is all the way up here at 098124 on the eight hour. If you drop down to the one hour chart, uh, you'll see a little bit of a different picture here. Uh, not really much to, to talk about. That's kind of the area that we bounced off. You can see that was the previous inside tail. And uh, that is at 0.96673. So that was the only one, probably a tweezer top here, which you could have sold into. Uh, for me, I'm still sit on hands, uh, but what I would be doing is watch this area here. So this is 096213. If we get similar kind of price action off that area, in other words, uh, inside bars, engulfing bars, or pin bars, especially something like a tweezer top or inside bar here, that's definitely an opportunity to, to be short again. And what you're going to be doing, though, is just tackling this previous swing low here at uh, 095498. A little bit hesitant jumping in at the moment massive amount of diversions brewing here on the one hour and uh, we are starting to brew some diversions here on the eight hour as well so i'm um, relatively cautious i'd much rather be short way up here than down in this area at the moment so i am sitting quietly still uh, moving on to us dollar japanese yen still very much inside this uh, megaphone formation uh, we stayed above this these two levels I gave you yesterday but uh, if we just get down to the hour you'll see um, I said to you yesterday if we need to come back and test to stay above it uh, that would be an opportunity potentially 143.733 but uh, as far as I'm concerned at the moment this is still sort of swinging on a seesaw can go either way so I am clearly sitting quietly and uh, not bothering to get involved in this at the moment. We've got too many magnets to the downside. We've got a, a gap over here. And we've got a lot of uh, structure that was uh, over a couple of days here. You can see between these two levels. So I don't see us just breaking and running. I see us coming back and, and playing around in this area until we actually convince that we're going to be able to continue to the upside. And even with that, I'm not entirely convinced, especially not with the oscillators as they are on the eighth hour with this diversions brewing here as well. So we could end up with a lower high forming and then a big fall down to the bottom of this range. Um, so not the range, but the the megaphone formation. So uh, I am very wary of the dollar and sitting quietly, not bothering to get involved there. Moving on to the pound, British pound, Japanese yen. There's so much noise in the in the UK at the moment that uh, uh, I'm still waiting for the dust to settle before looking which way to go and uh, yesterday we pretty much just hovered around in the middle of the previous day's chaos but uh, normally what happens is it takes a couple of days for you know, a big move like this that we got on you know, Monday um, to actually start uh, fizzling out and uh, normality to come back in so at the moment, trend is down. We should be looking to be shorting off structure. And that is the closest bit of structure that I have at the moment. And that is at 155474. So we could argue that we closed in that area and it's been tested. But I'd want to see that retested uh, or even test this previous high from yesterday as well so that would be one five six one nine five so retest there i'd be looking for shorts and obviously aiming for these lows of monday moving on to euro british pound a uh, similar picture but just in opposite direction and uh, nothing really on the eighth hour we do have a bit of diversions here this is crazy price action that we got on monday but moving down to the one hour you'll see we pulled back onto structure and again similar kind of thing we sort of closed on uh, we bounced off this just going into the close at 089356 so that area is in play but then i would also argue i want to see us hold 
this 089575. If we can hold this area, uh, I think the gap is, is the gap closed? Gap, gap is closed, just closed now on the hour. So um, probably just expect us to bounce around here for another leg up um, shortly. So that's kind of the view I've got on Forex at the moment. I think the pound offers the best opportunity right now. The dollar for me is extremely, extremely overbought at the moment. So I will hang back a little bit and wait for better structure on the dollar. But um, pound, there are some opportunities here. I just need to pay attention to them on the 15 minute chart uh, during the European Open. That will give you the indication of what's going on. You can see yesterday all over the place, so nothing really happening. But if we come back, test structure, hold structure, stay above the moving averages, oscillators group down to the downside on the 15 minute, that's definitely an opportunity for another leg up. And you're going to be testing the next bit of structure, which is right over there. And that is 090197. Anyway, that's it for me today on Forex, uh, cautiously uh, looking at the, the charts, but um, if we see something, we will definitely jump in, but otherwise it will be sitting and waiting for better days. Hope that helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.